Hello everyone and welcome at Max Workshop. In today's video, we are going to have a look at the Human Starfighter X302 and F302A from Blackson Model and this is a 172 scale kit. We are going to see that despite the fact that this is a 172 fighter, the kit is really big. So, let's have a look to the instruction first. The instruction shows you the parts you have with a list and the decals you have also with a list. And you have assembly notes which you have to follow and tips about how to glue the parts together. You also have some pictures to show some parts of the assembly, some pictures of the TV show to have the color scheme and under an underneath picture showing the landing gear and some racks to put missiles. On this page you have informations about the difference of the F302 or the X302. And at the end again you have some instructions. So those instructions those not show a lot of pictures but are almost uh, made with text information. I showed you on the instruction the decal sheet you have. Here it is. It comes in two sheets. First sheet, first sheet with those decals and second sheet with the white markings. Now let's have a look to the parts. First here we have the main hull of the ship. We can see that there are some engraved lines the inside of the cockpit is looking really good with some grids on the floor, lots of details. There are some remains of molding here and there, but nothing that bad. The underneath is really clean also. As we have spoken of the cockpit, for the cockpit you have two options. You can go with a clear cockpit, which is vacuum formed and which is going to allow you to show the inside of the cockpit or you can use this one, but in this case you will have to remove some material here to let it fit in position. Now the other parts which are remaining. So you have in this bag a lot of parts. Okay. So you have two wings. Again, nice casting. You definitely will have to wash it really good. As you can see, there is some remain of the casting here, which is a little bit of grease. And you have the inside of a landing gear here, of a landing bay, sorry. So here you have one wing. 
the second one is basically the same some molding remains here and there again but nothing bad here you have i think some parts which are show which are near the motor or in front of the motor i think they might be here or perhaps here i don't know speaking of motors you have three engines for this kit have a look at this this is really nice part good looking not warped two little ones looking good also Some little reparation will be needed here and there, but again, nothing bad. And we have one remaining box with a lot of parts. On those ones, you have missiles. Here you have the racks which are holding the missiles. The landing gear arms. On those one there is a lot of molding remains to clean. The wheels for I think the front landing gear and a rear landing gear a pilot the pilot is really looking good perhaps a little job to remove the material here but it's really a nice job Some other parts. I think this one is for the landing bay, as are those two ones, and this one, I think. Another part, and the two rear wings which comes here and here you can notice we already have the two little holes which are pre-drilled so you just have to increase the depth of a drill of a hole and you can uh, assemble the kit and here there are some remaining, remaining parts I don't really know where they go. Perhaps for the cockpit, I don't know. So, and as I said at the beginning, you can see that it's going to be really a big kit. Nice looking kit. really curious about where this part is going okay I just looked in the instruction and those parts are going underneath here around the engines here okay yes so this is really a nice kit, I'm really glad to have it. 
as I said, it's really a big one. You can see with my hands, with my hands, perhaps with a ruler, which is 15 centimeters here. So yes, it's really a big one. So thanks for watching. Thanks if you liked the video and don't hesitate to follow me for other reviews and kit build on Matt's workshop on Facebook. Thanks and have a good day. See you.